Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World and today I'm back with my Christmas card number two sketch using um, Kendra's card challenge three. I'm, I'm running two uh, sections at the same time. I'm doing every day, birthday, sympathy, whatever with one section and this one I'm concentrating totally on Christmas cards but using the exact same uh, challenge number three. So um, inside this one you get the one strip and the square, which is supposed to look like a parcel according to this, but I'm changing things up this time. So to add a bit to the back of this, I have gone with Just Jade, which is this color here. So I have embossed it with a spotty sort of snowy looking spots um, for the background. Just, you know, I don't like to have plain backgrounds. This is going to sit here, but I also didn't like it plain. So I have gone with um, the basic border dies and I've used this one here on a bit of scrap card that I had left over from my basic card and it comes out like so. This one's a bit tatty, it's just about hanging on and I want them to go down either side. I'm sorry I'm getting a lot of messages through there, I don't know why. It um, must be photographs or something coming through. Um, I wanted to go to either side of this so I'm going to be very careful the way I stick this on. I have gone already and put a wee bit of um, double sided tape on the back of this just to be able to grab this just at the edge and no more. I just didn't like the plainness of it. I didn't want to mount it up on more white card or whatever. I want something a wee bit different. I thought great, perfect days. So that's what I've gone for. And my polar bear, as you can see, has come from the back of one of the papers. There is the top of him there. So I've just cut him out of an extra bit of paper and I'm going to use him as my image. If I can get these off. Oops. We shall stick our border on and see what it looks like. Goodness me, wasn't that easy? Sure it wasn't. So we'll start with this one because it's a bit, um, I was sort of was using a scrap. I didn't know whether I was going to do it or not. But I decided I would because I liked it. So I want this to line up with the, the point, the inner point there on each. And that'll keep me nice and straight. So should be able to fit that broken bit that you won't even know it's there. No, not too bad. Oops, so we'll want to add this one now. I think it gives it a nice wee um, feel against the plain background. Oh my goodness, somebody's looking at tension the night. So, not too bad. I think it, it looks nice. I'm going to trim it off here just to make sure we're Nice and straight, top and bottom. Didn't lay my points up very well. I advise you to do that. I don't like the look of that. But that is going to sit here. And then the parcel is going to go on top. And I've also cut out a base for it in the same card. Because I wanted it all um, framed rather than leaving it. And I'm actually going to round the corners on this one. Fancy rounding it just to give it a little different look. So I'm just using the rounder of my envelope punch board. So it doesn't feel neglected. And I'm just going to round them all on that and on the paper as well. So this will now sit like so, and it doesn't look so bad then against the same coloured background, which I was trying to avoid. That will sit there, and you, in the sketch you have this circle, which is any shape, so you know to go ahead. And of course I should explain that when you're using these 
papers because I'm using the sketch twice I have marked off for the first challenge that I was doing you can see it in my YouTube links there and um, the papers that was for each section A was going to be wavy lines, section B was going to be stripes. So in order to save my printing that out twice, I'm using the same template and I'm writing below green trees in the black marker so that I know, well, this is the one for my Christmas challenge. So I just did that the whole way through each of the templates so that I know what I'm working with. And that keeps you right. So we're going to join this up and see what it looks like. You never know till it comes out, and that's the exciting thing about these wee challenges. Um, you just don't know. You like I know with me, I sort of decide on things halfway through and change my mind a lot. So you never know what way it's going to come out. But we'll see. So I cut that following the sketch. Make sure you've got the opening of your card there. It tells you all the measurements, four and a quarter by five and a half. And the inner measurements was four inches by five and a quarter. So that's your car base is four and a quarter by five and a half. Your inner one is four inches by five and a quarter. And then you had these strips already cut. I'm really mad at myself for not lining those up properly. But it's done now, isn't it? Wait, actually, I can't because... We're going to stick it down before we get into any more mischief and tear it apart. So I want to be able to put my parcel so it's not stuck right up against the end, just about there would do. And it doesn't go fully top and bottom. But again, use your embossing if you have it to help line it up. Oh, I'm raging that I didn't line those up. That was a silly rookie mistake, wasn't it? So this is going to sit here. And then this is going to be flat on that. And then I'm going, I've him raised up. I've got uh, dimensions on the back. So I'm just going to stick this flat. I'm not putting any ribbon, bow or anything. His arms will represent the... Or his legs, sorry, will represent the bow. So we want it about here. Maybe even up a wee bit, you know. Stick this one on. Line it all up. And then this kitty will go on next. I just cut them out of the papers so uh, instead of stamping this time I fancy the wee polar bear with these colours. So that's what we went for. He just sit happily there and then I had a snowflake land in my stash drawer and I thought I would use it. And we're gonna pop on actually a wee gem. See what that looks like. Give it a wee Pedazzle. We're just going to set it there just where it says here. I could add, add more snowflakes, I suppose, and make you never know. But I need a wee bit of 3D film or something to take this but not show through. Not bad. Such a tiny wee snowflake. I'm not sure where I cut I might have cut it out of my scan and cut or something at some stage. So I just want to set it there in the corner. That's kind of peeking over. And rather than leaving it blank, I'm actually going to do a sentiment this time. I have these wee strips of the matching paper. I have my sentiment chosen out of the Penguin Palace, which is going to be my go-to set. And it says, be cool, be chill, be merry. And I'm not keeping it like that. I'm going to be chopping it up. So let's just stamp it first and see where it brings us. So this wee strip is about the right size. Close to the top of her, she's not very straight at all. Well, look at it, we'll stamp it out again. It wasn't a very straight piece. We'll just re-stamp it. 
make sure I'm not actually hitting that. Just make sure it's well inked up and they're brand new stamps. It's hard to see that white. Excuse me if I'm out of shot for a minute just to get this done properly. That's a bit better, isn't it? So get your scissors and chop it here. And then we want to like but be cool, be chill, be merry. So working my way down, I'm taking the dot off. I'm just using the words. So just chop that off. And then remember to chop it off at this side too so that it all balances. This one's a wee bit too big. So be cool. Chop a wee bit off this. Be, whoops, be chill, and then be merry. And be merry. So you could raise them up. Hmm, will I or will I not? If I tilt them, is it going to look too wonky? No, I actually quite like that, so I'm just going to raise them up ever so slightly. these dimensionals that are going to be chopped down nice and thin so be cool chill I may go in with a few smaller um, snowflakes, you never know. You'll see it in the picture. You'll, you will have seen it, obviously. By the time I've done the card and uploaded the photo, it'll be the finished look. Be chill and be merry. So cute or what? I'm so easily pleased. So. Hopefully you'll uh, have a week old Christmas one yourself. I want to show you the same one that I've done before using the same sketch and how different they can look. I mean, it is brilliant. You can use the sketch over and over and over with different things and you'll always be happy. I think it's a great layer to have. So that's me. I'll catch you all again. Um, check out both sections, one for the everyday and one for the Christmas. And I'll be following a... Uh, Kendra's Car Challenge 3 right through to the end with both. Uh, so that's 632 cards I'll be making. Go me, huh? Catch us all again later. Bye.